Hey guys, Monday, Real DVD Watchers, week 56. This week I'm going to be reviewing the action classic Mission Impossible 2. Directed by John Woo, starring Tom Cruise, Ving Rhames, um, Sandy Newton, uh, Dom Dominic Purcell from Prison Break. He's not in it really. I mean he is, but not very much. Mission Impossible 2 is a big pile of wank. It is absolutely shit. First of all, okay, you've got Tom Cruise's character, right, and Sandy Newton's character, who like meet like two times, and after the second time when they've had a little thing in the car, suddenly they've just absolutely fallen in love and slept together. And there's no character development whatsoever. We get Ving Rose back, that's good. I liked him in the first one. He doesn't really do much in this one. He's just kind of like, I'm on the computer. Oh no, my van's exploding. You know, and then you've got this annoying Australian guy who's just really annoying. He's just like, well, I'm the cheeky Australian guy. I mean, he's just, he's just like, oh, shut the fuck up. Um, you've got this ridiculous story about this virus and they're just like, oh my God. Ugh. And like, this overuse of slow-mo, you could just imagine Tom Cruise going to John Woo now, I just want, I just want all your classic traits from your, your, your really good Hong Kong films. We just want loads of slow-mo, put in the pigeons, everything, just, yeah, cracking. Well, maybe not cracking, but, and it, it just so much, it, the whole film is in slow-mo. It's just like slow-mo, when Sandy Newton and Tom Cruise first see each other and they're like across the room, slow-mo. And then they're in the car, slow-mo. And every action scene, slow-mo. I'm jumping and hiking, slow-mo. I'm running across the pigeons, slow-mo. I'm on the bike, slow-mo. Okay, and the fact it doesn't stay true to the film whatsoever. I mean, I don't mind if like different films have kind of different flavors, like the Blade, you know, Blade 1 is kind of nightclub-ish and, um, uh, you know, 90s and then Blade 2 is kind of more gothic and Blade 3 is just, a shit um but this does not stay true to the first one in any way whatsoever suddenly Ethan Hunt is just a one-man army I mean he wasn't like that in the first one at all sure he had some skills but <laughs> suddenly in this one he's just like doing high kicks and flips and jumping and he's on his bike shooting people and you know doing f fuck all and kicking guns out of sand it's just like oh my what happened to Ethan just in that four years you've just had a massive amount of training and just become an absolute amazing fighter and shooter and all that technical bo bollocks and like yeah and his relationship with Sandy Lewis is just so unbelievable they have no chemistry whatsoever they're like sexual tension no it's not that and then uh, we're supposed to believe that she's had this relationship with the bad guy and there's just nothing there either it's just even worse it's just like I'm sorry but I do not buy into that then there's the masks okay you know what i'm fine with it you know yeah uh, but it's just so like in the first one it was okay because it actually seemed like maybe it was an actual mask or maybe they actually at least got kind of a tom cruisey voice on the person who's playing him but in this one, it's just unbelievable at least in the third one they try and make it a bit more believable like they had to scan the face and the voice and actually do something with it but instead it's just like no we've just got masks for everyone and we just were able to change clothes really fast at the end of the film um what else is I had to bitch about oh my god Anthony Hopkins in this film he must be the smuggest bastard in the world like <laughs> he's just so annoying in this film no wonder he was uncredited just because he's ter just because it's, it's a terrible terrible film Mission Impossible 2 MI2 4 out of 10 absolutely shit-tastic piece of bollocks don't see it watch MI1 then skip over and watch MI3 both of those are excellent but this is rubbish that's been my Monday review Mission Impossible Pooh